Jungle Strike came out in 1993 and is actually like the third game in the Strike series. Now, I absolutely love these games. I think they're so fun. Uh, there's, I think, four or five of them in total in the series. The first one was Desert Strike, then you had Jungle Strike, uh, Urban Strike, and then my personal favourite of the series, which was Soviet Strike. And then I found out when I was doing a bit of research for this video that um, Nuclear Strike was the other one that was released on Sega Saturn and PlayStation as well. PlayStation 1, that is. And these games, these are just like these weird little action adventure, like, well, not action adventure but action shooter games where you pilot a helicopter and you got to destroy objectives and honestly i think these games are great now the games that i played the most out of the series was uh, this one which is jungle strike which is what you can see me sort of like attempting to play as the footage being captured and um soviet striker the two games i played the most in this series but every single one they're really good. The first one, Desert Strike, was one of the biggest selling games on the Mega Drive when it first came out. Followed closely by Jungle Strike, which is this one. This is also Mega Drive footage as well, if you've not seen it before. And yeah, I feel like this game series just sort of like dropped off the face of the earth come the turn of like the 2000s. Now what I really like about this game is the controls of how the helicopters handles and in certain games you can change your, like, your helicopter loadout, your pilot does all these different things. You can like really I like gear up how you want to play the mission which is I'll go into a little bit more in a little bit. But um, one of the big things, the reason why the controls in this game felt so good is that the game engine was actually carried over from uh, an attempt to make like a flight simulator like a helicopter flight simulator game that just didn't really take off and they, they evolved it, Include, pardon the pun there, but yeah, it didn't really go very far and they went straight into a, like, just an action game playing this sort of, like, action shooter military game. Now, one of the biggest things that the developers really wanted in these games and is was sort of, like, the main concept of it was this idea of open-endedness and, like, non-linear gameplay which is a really big thing in this game like i said it came out in 1994 1993 let me just quickly check when did this game come out 1993 so a non-linear game in 1993 was absolutely wild now how each level works is you've got a big open map and you get given between anywhere between sort of like like two and five objectives and you just sort of like can do them in any order and back in 1993 or like the mega drive era this is it was just unheard of like just being able to do whatever you wanted this is me failing the mission because i uh mistook the enemy base or enemy building and a civilian building and got told off for it because you still have to follow the objectives of the mission but yeah i digress non-linear gameplay in a mega drive game in the early 90s is absolutely wild when you think of like development and gaming and it was just so cool at the time i played so much of these games and i really really like them and then the series just disappeared and it's a shame because they, they you don't really get many flight helicopter flight simulator games anymore or any sort of flight simulator combat flight simulator games like i can think of like maybe the ace combat series but the last one i played was like ace combat horizons which was pretty good but other than that i haven't really seen many other flight simulator games or helicopter games which is a shame because i, I love that sort of gameplay and that game design but let me know in the comments have you ever played any of the strike series whether it's desert strike jungle strike urban strike soviet strike or nuclear strike have you played any of them um, did you like the games? Let me know in the comments. Let me just have you have any cherished memories of these or if you absolutely hated them even better let me know because I'd love to have a conversation about these games. Um, I will talk in the comments about anything but again thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.